الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد عن عائشه رضي الله عنها قالت كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اذا اغتسل جنابا غسل يديه ثم توضا ودوه للصلاه ثم اغتسل ثم يخلل بيديه شعره حتى اذا دن انه قد اروى وشرته افاد عليه لما ثلاث مرات ثم غسل سائر جسده وكان تقول كنت اقتسل انا ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من اناء واحد نقترف منه جميعا ونعيش رضي الله عنه السيد the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم when he used to make ghusl from janaba he would wash his hands then he will make wudu the way he makes wudu for the prayer then he will start to wash his body he will run his hands through his hair to the point that when he does he made his scalp wet he will pour water on it through on it three times then she then he will wash the rest of the his body and she used to say in the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and i used to make ghusl from one vessel scooping from it uh, together Uh, the mothers of believers, Aisha radiya Allah wana, her biography as presented in the hadith number 3. The subject of the hadith, clarifying how to know ghusl from al-janaba. Be an explanation of the words, idaktazala meaning he wanted to make ghusl. In al-janaba, mean, mean is for a sababiyya reason. And al-janaba really means the ejaculation of semen. غسل اليديه هي سانس ودوه للصلاة with the dam on wow meaning like his wudu for the prayer the solution of how to make wudu has preceded in hadith number 7 and 8 ثم اقتصر he began to do complete washing of his entire body ثم يخلل بيديه شعره he will put his sons with his fingers spread Open uh, between the hair of his head and uh, and sentence is ma ma fuwa ma ma tufuwa on them he will make wudu. Ida ida dana he thought it was most likely or he was certain. Arwa basharatahu he closed the head he closed the head the head hair's skin and that is the scalp with water until to sweat. He poured the water afada uh, alayhi on his head. Sayyari just said that he did the rest of his body or all of it. Nagtarif minhu will take the water with our hands and the sentence is hal from the file in Aqtasal Naam and that which is ma'amatuf on it. The purpose for mentioning this is to affirm Aisha's certainty of how to be made ghusl. See the summary. In this hadith, the man of the believers is explaining how the Prophet made ghusl from al-janaba. But when he wanted to make ghusl, he first washed his hands because they are the two for scooping. Then he will make wudu just as he made wudu for the prayer. So he will make madmada and istinshak and istinstar. And wash his face and his arms to the elbows. And wipe his head and ears and wash his feet to the ankles. Then he will begin to make the complete washing of the entire body. So he will run his hands with the fingers spread open through the hair of his head to the point that when he thought he made his scalp wet, he put water on it three times. Then he washed the rest of his, uh, of his body one time. And Aisha radiallahu anha explained in this hadith that he used to make ghusl, she, to make ghusl, she and the Prophet sallallahu from a single vessel scooping from it together to affirm her sanity of how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi made ghusl as, as the matter was not far from her view. The benefit of the hadith, the jalismacy of making usul for al-janaba in this manner following the example of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is to wash his sons, then he make a complete wudu, then he runs his sons through the hair of his head, and when he thinks he has made it wet, he pours water on it three times, then he washes his entire body after that. The major hadith is greater than the minor hadith, the major hadith is greater than the minor hadith, because it is obligatory in it to wash the entire body, even the head. The familiarity of a man and his wife making ghusl together from one vessel. The familiarity of the person in the state of Janaba scooping from the water vessel which, make, which he makes ghusl from. The example of the Prophet ﷺ, character and relationship with his family.